Hey guys, welcome to the Nevertheless Screen Printing Supplies step-by-step -step video on how to build our screen rack cart. For this build, you're going to need a 13mm and an 11mm wrench or socket. And you'll also need the hardware provided in the package and also all of your pieces to construct the cart. So let's get started. Alright guys, so our first step is going to be attaching our corner upright to our side crossbar. If you look at your upright, there's a series of holes that run down the length of it. At one end, there's a bigger gap, and then on another end, there's a smaller gap. Your bigger gap is going to be the top of the rack. So you'll take your crossbar and make sure that the holes will be what would be on the inside of the rack, pointing to the inside of the square that it will create. And you'll connect these together with the 13 millimeter nut and bolt. Make sure to only have these be finger tight for now. We're going to tighten everything at the end. Alright, and now that you want one side of the rack assembled, You'll go ahead and do it one more time with your remaining pieces. And then we can move on to the next step. Alright, now that you've assembled both sides of your screen rack, the next step will be to install the screen rack shelves. They're the silver pieces referred to as piece D on your instruction sheet. They'll be attached to the holes that run along the length of your corners with the 11 millimeter nuts, bolts, and washers. Alright guys, your next step is going to be to attach your front and back crossbars, part A, to each side at top and bottom of your screen rack shelf. So we're going to take this side and this side. Remember to just make these nuts and bolts finger tight for now. We're going to square everything up and tighten them down at the end. And it will be attached like that. And then we'll do that with all four corners with the three remaining crossbars that we have. And then we'll move on to the next step. Alright, now that we've connected our front and back crossbars, we're ready to drill our wooden top and get it ready to put on. Now, I've already drilled mine out and lined it up. I went through the bottom here, through the holes. There's holes up top. Now, you don't have to drill it out. You can use clamps. People have done all different types of methods. But for the sake of the video, we drilled ours out. And now that we've got our tabletop on, we're ready for the last step, and that's to attach the wheels. Alright, now installing the wheels is very simple. All you need to do is remove the nut from the top of the wheel. Put it through the pre-drilled hole in the bottom of your shelf. And tighten it down. You do that for all four corners. Alright, and now that you've got your wheels on, all you need to do for your very last step is to go through and tighten up all your bolts. Just make sure that you're on a nice square surface so that when you tighten everything down, you can make sure you're tightening it square so that it holds everything nicely and looks nice. So thanks for watching. I'm Joe with Nevertheless Screen Printing Supplies. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Happy printing.